Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is Sean and today I've got three, not just one, but three different products that I want to go over with you guys. They're from a friends of ours at our uh, buddies at Tessman, T-E-S-M-E-N. I'll put the link in the description. And we have got three of their smart digital multimeters. We've got the TSM-192, TSM-522S, and of course the TSM-599. So the three of you today, we review you. And starting with the TSM-192, you'll find that it comes in a really, really nice packaging. Inside, you'll see that it does have the carrying case, the user's manual, all of that inside. Make sure you don't lose that. It's a pretty nice little book that they give you. It tells you little secrets and little tips of the uh, product when it comes to your testing. I'm sure you probably are familiar with. And then what I like about the product, um, they, in this company, they give you the little batteries. I know a lot of people do, but batteries that come with it, good quality ones too, not the cheap ones, Duracells. They give you nice batteries. And of course, here is the actual smart tester. Now, as you can see on there, this is the TSM-192. Shows you what all you can actually use it for. And next is the 522S. Let's open that up. Once again, nice little container to put it in, a little carrying pouch. Keep it nice and safe while it's in your work truck or vehicle or wherever you carry it. Nice thick user manual. Nicer pouch, of course, you can tell. Oh, and I can see it comes wrapped in a plastic, uh, it's like sealed in plastic. Once again, Duracell batteries. Now this one, 2000 was the first one. This is up to 4,000 counts. Again, we can open that up, it's in the plastic. Yep, completely sealed. Now I will tell you guys what's cool about this. It actually looks and feels almost about the size of today's mobile phones. Almost like a Blackberry with a case on it. <laughs> Very nice fit in the palm of your hands. That way you can see the functionalities of it. Again, uh, we could power these up here shortly. I just figured we would go through them and show you what they have. Um, if you're used to using uh, multimeters or digital meters of any type, you guys know what they do. You know what you're using them for. So. Uh, whether micro ads or <laughs> I can't remember what all the signs the omegas and what are for but I'm sure you do leave a comment and let me know but product wise um, I love Tessman we used the um, digital moisture pin that they had sent us and uh, really appreciate a company like that reaching out working a nice relationship with good people like them and we do appreciate a good company that actually has great quality products like Tessman so here's the leads Check those bad boys out. Very well made. Very well made. Yeah, I like that. See the little protective caps that go over that? Pull that thing off to expose. See? Really nice. There's the other end. Almost feel like a little, very heavy little pair of jumper cables there. <laughs> All right. And then you can put those right back in your little pouch. Keep them safe. And again, that is 4,000 counts. And then that finally brings us to the TSM 599. Once again, owner's manual right in the box. You can tell right off the bat, a lot more heavy. Um, this, you can feel the weight of it's a lot heavier. And this one is up to 6,000 counts. 
course, as you get a little bit more fancier, that's held in there with a little strap. And I mean, when I tell you, it's not easy to get out. It's well kept in there. I keep it from bouncing around, that's for sure. Of course, my hands don't work as well as they used to, but there you go. Thicker. I believe all these have a light on them. I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. We'll power them up here and turn them on. TSM 599. Of course, there's the leads. And let's see what else. Oh, okay. Another secondary set of leads. And of course, two, pet, two batteries in here. So there's four total. Looks like you just lift up the back here. It's got a little stand, isn't that nice? Well, wow. you can just set it up. See that? I'll move the camera back. It's got a nice little stand feature. I like that. Wow. All right. Very well made, hard, rugged. Feels like a rubbery, um, it almost feels like the, um, what was that, the Otter Box, the Defenders, like the real heavy duty thick cases. I guess maximum protection around that bad boy, for sure. Nice. Okay, so I went ahead and removed uh, on the TSM 599, went ahead and have removed the rugged outside a plastic case that goes on that thing, very well made and that will reveal where the batteries go. You're gonna need a little Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna need to remove the battery cover to insert the four AA batteries that are required for this particular product. Let's do that now. Okay, as you can see there, so we've taken off the battery cover there with a small little Phillips screwdriver. And uh, I believe, I, I'll stand corrected, I think I used the term AA batteries and if I did I stand corrected these are triple a batteries I apologize they are the smaller ones I do stand corrected uh, four triple a batteries and they do provide them which is really nice they give you Duracell which I'm installing right now as you can see uh, batteries to go in so it looks like okay let's see up down looks like it's staggered Yep, it is. Sounded like it powered on. Maybe I accidentally hit the button. Go ahead and put that back together. Wow, look at that. So, I have never seen a digital. <laughs> never seen a digital multimeter before uh, I do not have any probes in uh, I actually think I held the button and turned it on so let's turn it back off and we'll power it. yeah let's power it back on I think I was actually holding the button down but let's see what we've got going on here okay nice I believe yeah, if you hold down where it says select, I believe if you hold that down, you can see it does have a nice little flashlight or a little lighted surface that you can see what you're working on. That's nice. Hold it for a couple seconds, it turns it off. Nice. And of course your function buttons on each side. It's actually showing you where to put your probes too down there at the bottom. Wow. So there you go. Really nice machine. Um, again, I really appreciate the people at Testman for allowing us the opportunity. And I'm going to test a couple of these here. I'm going to turn them on, but I did want to power them up and let you guys see what you'd be buying or what you're getting yourselves into. Um, really nice machine. I like Testman. I like their customer service. I've already spoke to them about uh, one thing just to ask a question. And of course, we've had correspondence back and forth. Really nice people. 
Really nice people. I like that. All right, this is the, um, the TSM 599. And last but not least, we have the TSM 192. A little small handheld, little, I think that's their entry level one. <coughs> Once again, leads are already attached to that. Simply just pull them off the back, as you can see here. And this one, you do not need to remove the uh, cover. You just actually uh, unscrew the back. Same thing, Phillips screwdriver is required to remove the back cover. And two AAA batteries from Duracell also provided for you by Tessman. There's the beep saying we are live and ready to go testing. Let's screw that back door back on. All right. Now, once again, this one has not got the um, uh, real fancy schmancy functionality. Of course, this is just your basic simple tester. Does still have the light on the back. Let's see if I can turn that on. There it is. It's on the front. See that? Press and hold to turn it off. All right, simple display. I've got it on automatic. And it's conducting my body's electricity. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just touching it to both my fingers there. But yeah, um, we're gonna test something here in just a second. Hold on, we'll be right back. So when it comes to quality, Tessman just can't be beat. For the price and for what I've seen today, I love this. I've got my old multimeter, I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. I promise I won't tease you any longer. I'll show you here in just a moment, but what a great, great product lineup from the TSM 192 to the 522S, all the way up to the 599. I'm sure you'll find a value in each one of those, depending on what your needs are, whether the basic testing, all the way up to the most strenuous type of tests, if you're an electrician and you need a, a really good multimeter, I know you'll know a lot more about them, uh, but would those have exactly what you're looking for? Leave a comment, let me know. What do you guys think about that? And I'll tell you what, one of you might just win one of these. That's right. Unlike some of the other YouTubers out there, I figured I'd share the love. So since I was gifted these, why don't you guys leave a comment? Let us know, did this video help you out? Did you like the video? Could you use it? One of you may very well win one of these from Tessman. And check out the link in the description. You might just find a discount for yours. Buy one today. You won't go wrong with Tessman. Great quality products. All right, hold on. All right, yeah, as I said, so look what I've got here. Thought I was kidding. <laughs> Those are some oldies, but not goldies. I'll tell you what, some of them, no, they really worked. Again, these were very well made for what I needed. Uh, when I said analog, you see what I mean? They're, they're digital, but not, not the... Um, to the extent that these uh, Tessman products are. This one, once again, has a little digital readout, but I put these through the ringer, as you can see. That's had some usage on them for sure, so I definitely can use them. Um, what I've needed them for in the past is usually if I'm testing something on a hot tub, if I've needed to see if a part's gone bad, um, that's usually the best time to see is get your little meter out and run a test on it. You can find out whether there's any current running through it or if not, uh, you guys know where I'm going with that. I don't want anybody to do anything that would, would zap them out there, but uh, you, for instance, I went and unplugged my um, heating element and uh, make sure there was no power going to it at all, disconnected the wires from it, and then connected the leads just to see if I was getting a reading at all. And so, um, unfortunately, there's something else going on with the hot tub. I'm gonna to have to figure it out, but I cannot wait to try these out and see what kind of experience that we get with these. I may show the results, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Thank you, Tessman. Don't forget, I did do a video here of their uh, pin type moisture meter, which is the TWM186. I have that. A video is on uh, our channel if you guys wanna check that out. Once again, right here on We Review You. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. If you're looking for a great quality product, there they are from Tessman. Thank you guys. See you soon right here with We Review You.